guys, Matt, welcome back to the shop. And today we're talking about, <laughs> you know, this is the cool thing about this channel. There are guys that ask questions that I just think I would have never even thought to do a video on that or whatever. So some guy asks me, how come we have a cylinder head? It has a hole like this, a hole like this, and then there's the casting like that. And then when we have like a rocker cover, you'll have a rocker cover like so and then that'll be flat and then we'll have these little buttons that are part of the gasket usually or inserts so these little buttons here he's like i don't understand what the hell is that for he literally sent me an email with a picture of the big arrow going what the fuck are these for um and he said i understand that they're here to seal it it's like why do they even bother doing this and this is actually uh, a great question because i like these questions because um, this isn't about performance or anything, this is actually about manufacture. So, what you need to do is you have all these um, cam bearings, like so, and you'll have another one out here. And we need to basically bore these out, you know, the, 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 um, they're cast under size and we need to bore them out so they're the right size so we can get the right oil clearances. And obviously this is in the line of this head here. Why? Well, because we need, we've got a crankshaft in, a camshaft in here. And we need to split it 50-50, otherwise we can never get the bugger in. Um, all to do with geometry of circles. So we have to pick the widest part. But what we need to do is we need to do a thing called line boring. So line boring is basically, it's like drilling seagulls. It's like drilling the problem with drills is, is that drills deflect. And when you have stuff like end mills, you'll notice that end mills are really stubby and short. Long end mills are very, that's just to reach around. That's not actually to cut that entire surface, unless it's big and fucking stout. But um, what happens if you want to machine something to quite high uh, tolerances, but it's fucking, you know, this long, it's the width of a cylinder head. How do you, or that long? It's the width of a cylinder head. Well, we do a thing called line boring, which basically means you have a boring tool that is supported at both ends. Um, you have a boring tool that is supported at both ends like this. This is to basically increase its rigidity. It stops a bending moment from happening and this tool from deflecting. If you did that, what you'd end up with is the tapered holes. The one on this side, if you were coming from this side, this would be the correct size and this would be undersized because the tool is deflecting. Um, because of the resist, uh, the reactive forces from, well, the material not wanting to be cut, not wanting to be cut, just the resistant forces. Fucking hell. <laughs> so basically, we need a way to get in, and the way we get in is we do this: we cut, we put our line borers in like this, and we can cut. But obviously, when we put the engine together, we don't want this big gaping hole because all your oil will just piss the fuck out. At the boarding bar travel up to a depth of 450 mm is higher than in most other machines of this class. But then he asks the question, then begs the question, so then why don't we make a casting where we have infills like this on this surface? Just because it's easier to do it this way. If you have a, a casting that has a flat face that needs to be machined flat, but then it has these humps in it, these hump sections, then you can't just basically um, shell mill that. You can't uh, fly cut that and cut that flat with cut this top surface flat because it's a mating surface our rocker cover we want flat so we can bung that on the top um, and having these protruded humps sticking out would be just a fucking pain in the ass so you you know mitigate them completely just have it a nice flat surface and then we can put these plastic caps in sometimes they are just you know part of the actual gasket sometimes they're separate pieces that you put in yourself but that's just basically just to plug this gap but that's why you have this half moon shaped weird thing um, stuck in your um, head is the reason is we need to be able to line bore it so we have to get the tool in we'll talk a lot more about this because this is very important it is okay sat there on CAD designing whatever 
can you get the tooling in there to cut it? Can you actually get access to it and do these things properly? Hope that makes sense, and I'll see you in a bit.